Good job first. Turn the blue face back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Uh, how you niggas act to act to act to act, niggas sipping act. Uh, relax, never had to do that trap for a rap. So you just saw your boy squat 665 pounds for a heavy single. So I'm going to explain today's workout. It was supposed to be a single at RP8. We kind of went, you know, above and beyond. It was probably like RP9 at that. But so it was supposed to be RP. It was supposed to be a heavy single RP of eight. Then dropped down to a three by three like RP78. So we have 545 pounds on the bar right now. But you know what I'm saying? We get to it. We eight weeks out from the big dance. You know what I'm saying? The IPF Worlds at Alberta, Canada. Er, Calgary, Alberta, excuse me, you know what I'm saying? We're coming for that, we're coming for that Canadian bacon. It's gonna be live, man. So, uh, I'm feeling good. Like, last week I kept saying, like, yo, I feel like trash. Like, every single workout I just felt completely weak, but today we're getting back to it. I know that once I have a bad week of lifting, I'm gonna bounce back and have a good one. So, in my last video, you saw me hit 405 pounds on bench, then we came back and hit him right over the head with this 665 for a heavy single on squat. But enough talking, B. Let's get to this three by three. It, dude. Not too bad. I lost my balance a little bit on that last rep, but it's pretty solid.
<laughs> okay, so what's up guys? Welcome to day number two of this lifting vlog. Right now we're currently getting ready for the gym. As you can tell, pre-workout vibes. Got that, that's my rule with Lil Yachty featuring Young Zip Bag or Zip Lock Bag, something, I don't know. But it's Wednesday and uh, we just finished a full morning of packaging some orders. I'm gonna show y'all this morning's orders for Sasquatch socks right over here. So we're gonna have to package all that up and uh, head on to the post office before we actually go to the gym. So feeling good, man, feeling good. Yesterday was a great squatting session. Once again, had a heavy single of 665 pounds, all time PR, heaviest weight I've ever lifted. And then we had some back down sets with 545 pounds. And today is supposed to be a four by three on bench. We're gonna get to it, but uh, I'm gonna keep drinking this uh, straight pre-workout, no chaser. Woo. Ooh, that's strong, boy. All right, so all of these packages need to go right about now. All right, all gone. Time to head on to the gym. So as you guys can see, we already have the weight on the bar and we have the lockdown bench grip already set up. So uh, today's workout is supposed to be four by three. Four by three RP7, 355 pounds. Here's the first set. All right, so that first set wasn't bad. It was actually really smooth. Uh, I feel like my technique was on point and, you know, kind of was all right. So uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be asking like, why did I switch wrist wraps? Uh, these are the lockdown grip wrist wraps that are gonna be coming pretty soon. They're a lot shorter than the gangster wraps that I was using and like sometimes it's a little bit of a hassle putting on wrist wraps that are like literally like this long. So these ones are really short and it takes me like two seconds to put each of them on. They're just as effective as the gangster wraps and they're all black, so. Let's get set number two out of the way. It's set number three as well. It's not too difficult, but what I'm gonna try to make sure is just hammering technique, hammering technique, make sure that I'm executing to the best of my ability. Uh, since the weight isn't overwhelmingly heavy to where I have to be sacrificing technique to a certain extent. So uh, let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. Don't be rude, like my bitch in the comment tools. That's my rule, use a fool. Bounce like Charlie. Oh, damn. I was preparing out for the right spot. I don't care about oh, yeah. you. <laughs> What did you say? I said, I don't care, just give me the sauce. Oh, I was like, hold up, man. What are you going for, bro? Oh my god. I really don't care. Bro, the pads <laughs> are jokes. <laughs> <no. no. laughs> Why does the ball not have the ball? Why did George Hill have the ball for that long? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had the ball through the whole possession. Damn, dog. Why did they call a timeout? Like, what? Oh, who called a timeout? Alright, so we are. Back at the crib after uh, Shawley's place, so uh, it was cool. We caught up, we had some fun, we relaxed, and we watched the Cavs play. And then we watched the Rockets play, and the Cavs won, Rockets won, 
and then OKC lost. So, all right, so this video is coming to the end, man. It's like 2 in the morning. We have a long day tomorrow. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, if you guys liked today's video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get better today. I'm out. Run of the Rex is a good habit. Run of the Rex is a good habit. Run of the Rex is a good habit.